salvation! No donation, no salvation! And remember, respect is everything. Okay, we're back, and today we're going to... Hey, hold on, something's different here. Yeah. We finally got a hold of some equipment that will be useful for later videos, so... That should be fun. But anyway, today we're going to look at Jazz, who is uh, probably my favorite of my Autobot cars, or one of my favorites. I say that a lot about them, but... Yeah, he's, he's pretty nice. I like him. <laughs> Um, yeah, I know, the stripe doesn't finish, I need to fix that, but, oh well, it is what it is, it works, it gets the job done, but yeah, um, he is based on a Porsche 935, which is his original G1 car mode, and, uh, you know what, I, I kinda like it, uh, I mean, the only thing I added from the real, uh, different from the real car is that he actually has headlights now, which is always a good thing, but yes, uh, for those wondering about the background, I got sick of all that stuff sitting in the back. It just got really cumbersome, and I also want to test out this green screen, so that'll be really fun to play with in editing. But yes, anyway, here is Jazz in his car mode. Let's proceed to transformation. Okay, anyway... So what we're going to do first is we're going to lift up this uh, little canopy here, like all my other ones. Next, we are going to uh, stand them up like this. Pull that back. Pull his arms back. Rotate them around. Rotate the arms out like this. Take this top piece and rotate it, and that'll become the top of his head to more make his little ears. Next, we are going to fold his legs out straight and then rotate them around like this. And then we just split the legs. And there is Jazz in robot mode. And I'm pretty happy with him. He turned out pretty nicely. Yeah, so um, there's really not much else to say. Again, sorry videos have been kind of you know, slow and all over the place, as you can see from that background, uh, got some big projects in mind that require it, and still learning how to use it and all that, so, yeah, um, let's give him a weapon, because he needs a weapon, okay, we found him a Robo-Gat, so let's just, uh, here, which, I'm gonna assume he's right-handed, so, plug his Robo-Gat into his arm, and, uh, yeah. So, yeah, there's a gun that he can hold. Made specifically for him. Here is a close-up of said gun. What in God's name was that? Okay, my apologies, people. There was a, a mishap with a box of Lego people that just randomly fell over. Okay, there's this gun, and since we're talking about Lego people... I never really do this, and I uh, figured I might as well start with Jazz. But yeah, here he is next to a Lego person. Whew! He's a big boy. But, I, I mean, I imagine that's to scale, given the nature of the car mode. We'll find out when we get back to car mode, which we're going to do right now. So what you're going to want to do is, same process before. Rotate the arms back. I'm sorry if I'm breathing into the mic. Um, a little out of breath from some activities I was doing earlier. Particularly moving a lot of heavy things. No, I did not move out yet, sadly. Um, that's still a long ways away, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Pointless details of my personal life. <laughs> anyway, fold that back in like that. Um... Get this to fold in. There we go. And just put his arms back. And I think we're good. I think. We should be good. Um, hmm. 
yeah, we're good. Oh, wait, hold on. Forgot to rotate the nose back. Yep, that's a little piece I'm using for the front nose cone of the car because uh, it makes the top of his head and looks really cool. But yeah, there's Jess, and uh, here's some random army dude. Yeah, I'd say that works. I mean, it's a little big for a Porsche because Porsches are very small cars, and I would personally never own one because I'm too big for one. But uh, <laughs> anyway, but yeah, there's uh, there's Jess. Hallelujah! Another soul saved!